last game, just I wanted to ask how impressed you were with John and just the way that he played such physical defense, um, even to the point where he was playing through uh, getting stitches in his. In yeah, his and I really put his body like into that paint for us, uh, that action, and even like mentally, uh, the way he came into this game uh, was really helpful for us, uh, especially for a game like that at home. Uh, we knew it wasn't going to be necessarily easy to, to win this game, and he really showed up defensively, and uh, that was big time. What do you expect going into game five, just as far as intensity of it being an elimination game and on the road? Yeah, from my experience, like this is going to be the, the toughest game because I, I, I think that this team is going to give everything they got, especially at home. Uh, uh, I expect a, a game even more physical than the, the, the past few games against them uh, because it's the last game. Of, it could be the last game of their season. and. Uh, uh, it's, it's going to be, I expect to fight out there. Are you liking the way that as a team, you guys have been able to, because obviously New York is a physical team, but are you liking the way you guys have been able to match that physicality, but still play your own game, if that makes sense? Mm, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're physical, but uh, they, they're trying to, they're trying to play physical. But I feel like if they were really physical, we have more problems than we have. I feel like they're trying to, but, it's not working, uh, and uh, we've been doing a really good job about it. Uh, uh, we've been responding pretty well because we showed them that we can be physical too. So that's why we are where we are, and we have to to, to confirm that one more time tomorrow. Could you walk me through what you mean by like they're trying to be, but not really? Like they're trying to play tough. I mean, uh, push our guys around and talk shit, but uh, we we can do that too. Uh, and we show them uh, as soon as they, they, they came back here that we, we can push guys around too. Uh, we can talk shit as well. So what are you going to do about it? And we can get a win with it. So what are you going to do about it? Oh, game four, you're coming back again. Well, it's going to happen again. We win the game. We talk shit and we push around. So what are you going to do about it? So that's what happened. Uh, we can do it too. We can be physical, but we can win games as well. And now we're coming to your home to win this game again. They send you on vacation. <laughs> right. Thank you, Clint. You're welcome. Let's go to Zach from the New York Post. Clint, did, you, you kind of mentioned them trying to be physical. I mean, do you, do you feel like the way you guys beat them the last two games where you matched their you know, physicality yet, you still won comfortably? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can tell it? they've been kind of maybe broken or dejected some way? I mean, yeah. Uh, when you're trying to, because that was both, that was two ways of being physical. It's physical, but you keep playing the right way. And there's physical, but you kind of play dirty. Uh, there's this two different games. Uh, we play hard because we play the right way. We win games that way. When you're playing hard just because it's kind of your last solution, I don't, I don't, I don't take that as a playing hard team. So, uh, I mean, just for us now, we have to focusing on the, on us and go out there. Uh, we know how the crowd's going to be and uh, and uh, get it done. Clint, did, do you when you talked about you know not playing the right way physical? Are you kind of talking a little bit about you know the what happened at the end of game four with Randall's elbow? Uh, yeah, that yeah. What was your reaction to that? I was like, all right, uh, that th th says it all, that you don't have any more solution but playing that way. Uh, you think that you're playing hard doing fouls like that? Well, it's not, this is not the game. If you can't play hard the right way, this is not playing hard. This is, those are flagrant fouls. Like, those are not in the game fouls. So it's like, it's not, you're just trying to make, you're trying to look physical, but it's not working. It's not, it's kind of a last solution. Michael Cunningham. Hey, Clint, the team defense has been very strong in this series after it was, you know, a little inconsistent over the last couple of months of the season. Obviously, you're a big key to that as the uh, the anchor on the back end. But what else have you seen from the team that has uh, improved the defense? Uh, uh, playing harder defensively, uh, not hesitating, like guarding those guys, really uh, make sure that keep him one way, uh, not let him gain comfortable, uh, go back to their stronger hands. Uh, just keep our like defensive scheme. Uh, we want to send this guy this way. We're going to keep him this way. 
you know, we're going to try to send like uh, Randall like that way where, where, where I'm going to help. And this is what we've been doing. This is playing hard. Uh, make sure we finish position with rebounds. Uh, make sure I do my job rebounding the ball. Like this, this is playing hard and effectively and consistently. It's how you win games. What's your been your impression of, of Trey defensively in this series? They've tried a few times to get him in the mismatches and things like that, but it seems from my perspective that he's done a pretty good job of kind of, you know, been, using his quickness to, to, to keep I, those schemes. He's at uh, his advantage uh, now. I think that he's getting better with, with his, uh, his experience and the fact that we're playing this team multiple times. He knows where he can be effective. He's doing it well. And uh, it's still deflections and, and we, we, we need it. Stephen Bondi. Hey, Clint. Um, the, the Knicks during the regular season, they um, they succeeded a lot because they, with their physicality, uh, they were a team that was known to play harder than the other team. Um, but does that is that kind of neutralized in the playoffs when you guys equal that? From my experience, regular season and playoffs, it's not the same. Uh, so, uh, I mean, good for them that they got the guy where they are playing that way. But when you have to play the same team for two weeks, uh, meaning that you have to bring that consistently with a, against the same team, uh, it's it's a different it's a different challenge. And uh, uh, I think that's why it's been it's, it's been hard for them because we we responded to that well, and uh, and we we've, we've done it the right way. And I think this is why we are where we are. And it, that that play with um, with Randall at the end of the game, uh, I I think he was saying it was a retaliation for what happened with Gallo and Bullock. Um, you know, but watching replays, yeah, you don't you don't know, get your your star plays and dirty plays like that. So I think this is wrong, and uh, and I don't even think that he that Bullock did a lot that game. But I mean, yeah, of course that was that was dirty play, retaliation or not. Uh, that's not how you play hard. Maybe if you don't come here, it'll be all right. You got him back, but just shove him. We we all can shove someone. Like you, you can't play hard in the game, you know. Thanks, Christos. Hello, Clint. How are you? Good. Great. My question to you is: as one of the leaders of this team, and especially on defense event, what was the most impressive part of your team's approach and team's effort? On defensive end in the first four games of that series? Uh, consistently, uh, the way that we come in every game, uh, not relaxing, uh, the fact that we really came every game to fight. And I think we we, we did a pretty good job and uh, we have to confirm it. Uh, I, I do not expect an easy game tomorrow night. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be a uh, physical team. Um, but uh, we, we're ready for that, and uh, we, we have to confirm. So the, the, the job is not over. You have one more you are one, one more win away from uh, the East semis. Why it's so important for you to, to finish that series in New York tomorrow? Uh, because every playoff game matters. Uh, you, don't, you don't want to fuck around with the game. You don't want to let uh, one game slip away because like the, the, the confidence can one game can change everything. One game change everything in the series. So you don't want to you don't want to let it slip away. Thank you very much.